currently looking at some beautiful illustrations which you will see all around the championships this year because they are the 2018 illustrations created by Amber Anderson over here from Creative Debut. She is the official illustrator for the Wimbledon Foundation this year. Amber, what an honour to be selected to do all these brilliant illustrations and to have them actually displayed all around the championships. It is. I mean, it's such a prestigious event. It's amazing to have the opportunity to be a part of it um, and, you know, see everyone interact with my illustrations across the championships. The question I'm sure everybody's asking is, how did you get selected to do this job this year? Of course. So I'm part of a collective called Creative Debuts, who um, especially platform for emerging and young artists. Um, there's about 2,000 artists uh, featured now on their site and their platform. Um, I was actually picked directly by the Wimbledon Foundation specifically from my portfolio from the site. And uh, we had a few meetings, got in touch and uh, went from there. I mean, what was your reaction when you got a phone call from the Wimbledon Foundation saying we'd like to discuss potential of you being the artist this year? I mean, obviously, <laughs> very, very excited. It's an amazing opportunity. I know they're printing 20,000 copies of the booklet this year, so... The reach for me, the opportunity for me, and as I said, the, the interaction with the booklets and my work, it's amazing to see it. And that booklet is this one that you're mentioning here, which yeah. is the Explore Wimbledon booklet for any youngsters, really, that want to come down and get a little bit interactive, I guess, with what's going on around the championships. So we have a little flick through. There's a few little challenges for them to go through here, and they can wander around uh, Wimbledon itself and, I guess, get some facts, learn a bit more about the championships. That's the basic idea. But, Amber, I want to ask you, uh, what was the, I guess, process behind the illustrations and where did the ideas for your illustrations come from? I think... The amazing thing about this project is that it's all about Wimbledon and it's all about being inspired by Wimbledon, the heritage of Wimbledon, the history behind it, um, the people that have made it what it is today, the quirks that have made it what it is today. Um, we particularly focused this year on the fact it's the 150th anniversary um, and obviously Wimbledon actually started as a croquet club and it only became a tennis club a little bit later on, which not a lot of people know. So that's the amazing thing about the Wimbledon Foundation. They base a lot of what they do on education, not only around Wimbledon itself, but education for young people in the communities locally. Exactly. Now, I wanted to ask as well, which is your favourite illustration? How many, I guess, drafts did you have to go through to get to what we are seeing right here? Incredibly. Uh, quite a lot of it was first time. So that was, that was brilliant for me. That was brilliant for the team because obviously it's such a busy time for everyone as everything starts happening at the championships. Um, but these ones that you see behind you um, probably took the longest. They're uh, more Victorian, old-fashioned style, so there's a lot of detail, a lot of cross-hatching. Um, as you can see, the shading on all the ladies' dresses. Um, but yeah, we were quite lucky to hit the nail on the head first time this year. What materials do you use as well to do your illustrations in? Mostly pen and ink. Um, and then this year, because of the nature of the booklet, um, a lot of digital as well, um, but only to add in certain details in the background more than anything. Um, the actual sort of illustrations that you can see themselves are all, all hand-drawn and scanned in. Amazing. And you said about education as well. Have you had a flick through the book and have you completed one yet yourself? I haven't physically filled it out with a pen, but I suppose in my mind I know all the answers. <laughs> That's a start. That's good. And for the kids who do get involved and do want to pick up one of these little booklets, um, they're down here in this little tent, the Wimbledon Foundation tent, and you can have a game of croquet as well. But if you do complete it and bring it back to this tent, you then get rewarded with one of these badges which Amber you also designed um, these look awesome anyone that's got a sharp eye can find these illustrations within the booklet as well so they're all sort of dotted about and I've taken from the booklet to uh, create these and then yeah if you play a game of croquet you can also pick up a croquet champion badge too there we go so four badges on offer and Amber obviously you get to experience Wimbledon in all its glory as well so have a fabulous day and thanks for chatting to us and if you come down here yeah have a little game of croquet i might go and uh, have a little game now myself amber do you want a little challenge yes. okay frank we're going to go and do this oh after this man we're going to get in the queue and we'll see you guys in a bit so come down here and have a game of croquet